today we discuss one important topics which is an and familiar theorem Han Banak theorem okay this theorem is very crucial or very important for functional analysis okay so so now we discuss about that theorem now we write the statement of Han Banach theorem okay first write the statement let x be a real linear space x be a real linear space and p x to r and p x to r p a sub linear p a sub linear let a p a let a p a linear functional define a p a linear functional linear functional defined on a subspace y of x defined on a subspace y of x such that such that if x less than equal to px for all x belongs to y Okay. Now then there exists then there exist a linear functional there exists a linear functional if delta on x satisfying the following properties satisfying the following properties satisfying the following properties okay first if delta x equal to f x for all x belongs to y okay and and if delta x less than equal to px for all x belongs to x okay now now we're going to prove of this important theorem we're going to prove of this theorem this theorem tell us that just one function less than equal to some function in a subspace of x and x be a linear real linear subspace and then this a be linear functional and we then we there exists an extension of this linear functional f delta on x such that f delta x equal to f x for all x belongs to y that means the subspace f delta x is represent f x but this f delta x also less than equal to p x okay and p p is p b a sub linear p b a sub linear okay here p x to r p a sub linear okay functional sub linear functional okay then then we now proceed this proof of this important crucial theorem now write this in order to use charles lemma use charles lemma we construct a poset okay we construct 
constructive process and define E equal to G sub equal to Tz subset of x to R is linear. Linear. Here, g x less than equal to t x. Okay, for all x belongs to t z. For all x belongs to t z. Okay, and domain of c. In order to use John's lemma, we construct a process defined t equal to those functions whose domain subset of x and this function defined of domain of c to r be linear and this functions less than equal to the sublinear functional px okay now now we're going to then then what we find we find since a belongs to because this one is given, okay, then then e not equal to five. This implies that e not equal to five. Okay. Now we're going to define another relation. Okay. Define a relation. Define a relation less than equal to less than equal to by for c h belongs to b for c h belongs to b c less than equal to h implies and implies by d c subset of d h okay h is an extension of c for H V N extension of G. Okay. But H V N extension of C. Now, now we're going to. It is easy to see. This is a partial or a relation. Okay. This relation defined by in this way. For H be the extension of C, then we erase our portion and going to further discussion about that. Okay. Then, then what we do? We do. It is easy to see that this relation B. This relation be partial or less partial or less and e less than equal to b e coset. Okay. E less than equal to b e coset. Now claim. Now we first claim that. Every chain of every chain of E less than equal to has an upper bound. Has an upper bound. Okay. Now let E zero be a chain. Let E zero be a chain and define define. Is zero PSA then define 
equal to union of g belongs to e0 t of domain of g ok note that note that y0 be a subspace of x y0 be a subspace of x and define a linear functional define a linear functional functional z delta y0 to r by define define y define z delta y z delta x equal to g x okay now for all x belongs to domain of g and where g belongs to p0 or g belongs to p0 okay then 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 what we find then note that note that g delta x less than equal to px for all x belongs to y0 okay by definition of g delta by definition of g delta we have we have g less than equal to g delta for all g belongs to p0 okay by definition of c delta we have g less than equal to g delta for g belongs to p0 hence the chain hence the chain a0 has an upper bound hence hence the chain a0 has an upper bound a0 has an upper bound since e0 since e0 is an arbitrary chain since e0 is an arbitrary chain arbitrary chain since e0 is an arbitrary chain it follows that it follows that every chain of every chain of e less than equal to has an upper bound has an upper bound okay hence the chain e0 has an upper bound since e0 is an arbitrary chain so it follows that every chain of e this relation less than equal to has an upper bound okay now now we are going to further okay by john's lemma by john's lemma e0 or e less than equal to has a maximum element by john's lemma by John's lemma E less than equal to has a maximal element has a maximal element okay now now let f delta with domain t of f delta 
it is this portion now if tilta with domain now let if tilta with domain d of if tilta is a maximal maximal element is a maximal element of e less than equal e less than equal thus if tilde x thus if tilde x less than equal to x for all x belongs to x belongs to d of a here d of z tilde then d of a okay then e less than equal to has a maximal element and let f tilde with domain d of f tilde is a maximum maximal element of e less than equal to thus f tilde less than equal to x okay now we going to further claim x equal to d of f tilde okay Here is this portion. I now claim x equal to d of f delta. Claim x equal to domain of f delta. Suppose for contradiction. Suppose for contradiction. Contradiction x not equal to d of f tilde. Then, then d of f tilde subset of x. Then d of f tilde subset of x. Let y one belongs to. Let y one belongs to. X difference d of f tilde. X difference d of f tilde. Note that y one not equal to zero. Note that note that y one not equal to zero. Okay. Now define define y one equal to equal to x alpha y one x alpha y one such that x belongs to d of f delta and alpha belongs to r and alpha belongs to r okay then 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 one can see that one can see that this y1 is a subspace of x y1 be a subspace of x okay such that such that d of f delta domain of f delta subset of this y1 okay now f delta dx not equal to df delta then df delta subset of x let y belongs to x difference d of f delta then note that y1 not equal to 0 okay then then y1 equal to we construct on subspace x plus alpha element y1 and x belongs to domain of f delta and alpha belongs to r then one can see that this one is a subspace of x such that d of f delta subset of y1 this one is easy now we going to further let let x y belongs to d of f delta okay domain of f delta then then f delta x difference f delta y equal to f delta x minus y 
resistance equal to P of x minus y. This equal to P of x minus y1 minus y1 plus minus y. Okay, plus y1 minus y1 plus minus y. Less than equal to P of x plus y1 plus P of minus y1 minus y. Which implies that, which implies that, which implies that minus p of minus y1 minus y minus f delta y less than equal to p of x plus y1 minus f delta x. Okay. Now this one so simply we do this one that x y belongs to domain of f delta then f delta x minus f delta y equal to f delta of x minus y less than equal to f delta of x minus y less than equal to p of x minus y and this one plus y minus y then p of x plus y plus p of minus y1 minus y okay then what we find to find here clearly we have we have first one first one for fixed for fixed x belongs to d of f delta for fixed x belongs to d of f delta the set the set minus p of minus y1 minus y minus f delta y okay such that y belongs to p of f delta is bounded above is bounded above and hence and hence and hence supremum of this exists okay Hence, supremum of this supremum of minus p minus y minus y1 minus f delta y y such that y belongs to d of f delta okay exists now we are going to this this set is founded above this set this this one less than equal to this that this set is founded above and supremum of this exists now it is some portion then what we find For fixed, for fixed y belongs to D of f delta. The set, the set p x plus y one minus f delta x such that x belongs to D of f delta, domain of f delta. This one exists. This one exists. This one, sorry, this one is bounded below. Is bounded, bounded below. Then, 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 this one, infimum of this one, infimum of px plus y1 difference if delta x such that x belongs to d of f delta exists define a equal to supremum of a this set and b equal to infimum of 
this define a equal to supremum of minus b minus y1 minus y minus f delta y such that y belongs to d of f delta p of x plus y1 minus f delta x such that x belongs to d of this one okay b equal to this one and a equal to this one now note that note that a less than equal to b okay this one is given then there exist there exist then there exist c belongs to r c belongs to r such that a less than equal to c less than equal to b okay now by definition of a and b by definition of a and b by definition of a and b we have we have minus p of minus y1 minus y minus f delta y less than equal to a less than equal to c okay for all y belongs to d of f delta this one mark pass one and obviously this one and c less than equal to b less than equal to p of x plus y1 minus f delta x this one for all x belongs to d of f delta this one mark as 2 okay Define define a functional define a functional if y one to r phi if y one to r phi if u equal to f of x plus alpha y1 equal to f delta x plus alpha c okay for all x belongs to d of f delta and alpha belongs to r okay then now define a functional f y1 to r such that f of u equal to x plus alpha y1 f of x plus alpha y1 u equal to f of x plus alpha y1 equal to f delta x plus alpha c okay then then what we get then what we get we erase this portion erase this portion then what we get then what we get we get we now show that we now show that we now show that a belongs to this e that is that is first one f is linear functional f is linear functional 
and second one is f u less than equal to p u for all u belongs to y1 now what we prove we prove first a p linear function okay prove this one first this one is too easy but we do it here okay we do it here let's we start now first we prove this one let u equal to u equal to x plus alpha y1 and v equal to v equal to y plus beta y1 okay belongs to y1 for some x y belongs to d of f delta for some x y belongs to d of f delta okay now we're going to further discussion about that and obviously we take alpha beta belongs to r and mu belongs to r okay now note that note that f of u plus v equal to f of x plus alpha y1 plus y plus beta y1 okay then this one equal to f of x plus y plus alpha plus beta y1 okay now this one equal to f delta x plus y plus alpha plus beta c This one equal to f u plus f b. That means this one is additive. f of u plus b equal to f u plus f b. Now we are going to further focus about that. f of f of mu u. This one equal to f of mu u equal to mu of f of u. Okay, mu of f of u. Now we going to this portion. Thus, a b linear function. Thus, a b linear function. Okay. Now we going to prove of another portion. Okay, now we're going to prove up another portion. Then we extend this one. We erase this portion properly. If u less than equal to p u, we have to prove that now. Okay. We have to prove that this one. So what we do? We do and we proceed further now we proceed further now we we'll do quickly 
दिस फॉर एफ यू लेस देन इक्वल टू पी यू ओके फॉर ऑल यू बिलोंग्स टू वाई वन हाउ वी डू इट वी डू इन थ्री केसेस केस वन अल्फा इक्वल टू जीरो ओके इफ अल्फा इक्वल टू जीरो देन देन इन दिस केस वाई वन इक्वल टू डी ऑफ एफ डेल्टा एंड फॉर ऑल एक्स बिलोंग्स टू फॉर ऑल एक्स बिलोंग्स टू डी ऑफ एफ डेल्टा वाट वी डू we have we have we have f of u equal to f of x plus 0 y1 this means f of x okay this equal to f tilde x plus 0 c equal to f tilde x and less than equal to px okay this implies that f of u less than equal to p of u here okay This implies that f of u less than equal to p of u. Yeah, in this case. Ne next case two. Case two. What we consider alpha greater than zero. Alpha greater than zero. Then what we find replacing replacing x by x by alpha into into we mark it in previous. So into we replace it and we get what we get. We get so simply, we get so simply c less than equal to b less than equal to p of x y alpha plus y one minus f delta x by alpha. Okay, this one equal to one by alpha common p of x plus alpha y minus one by alpha common f delta x. Okay, this one implies that. This gives that f of f of x plus alpha y one f of x plus alpha y one equal to f delta x plus c alpha less than equal to p of x plus alpha y one. Okay, understand or not? Understand this one is too easy. Alpha is multiplied by here and f x f delta x here. Then this one is this. So we going we prove that now f u less than equal to p u here. Okay. Next we proceed further and case three we raise our portion. Now we going to case three. Then what we find case three. Case three then what we get we let alpha less than zero. Alpha less than zero then what we find we find we also replace replacing y by y by alpha. We get, we get replacing y by y by alpha in one. Sorry, in one we get what we get my p minus p minus y one plus my plus one by alpha one by alpha y y. Okay, here minus here minus one by alpha y. Minus one by alpha f delta y equal to p of minus minus y one minus y by alpha minus f minus f delta y by alpha f delta y by alpha. Okay. Less than equal to a. Less than equal to c. Then what we get? We get. This problem so easily, we get this problem so easily. We get this one minus p minus alpha y one minus y here one by alpha minus here minus one by alpha f delta y less than equal to c. Okay, less than equal to c. Then this implies that. Minus common one by alpha p of y plus alpha y one here one by alpha common plus f delta y less than equal to c. This implies that this implies that p of y plus alpha y one less than equal to less than equal to here here plus here minus sorry here this one. Then f delta y plus c alpha. Okay. Then this one equal to this one f delta y plus c alpha equal to 
we know about that p of p of pi plus alpha that means less than equal to this okay f tilde y of this then what we find we find this one here this one is here this one is minus and then this one then obviously we get this one okay then then what we find we find p of u greater than equal to the of this okay in this way also we do it then what we find we find that since a belongs to e with domain y1 with domain y1 with domain y1 and clearly clearly y1 contains df y1 contains domain of it delta properly okay then then f is a then f is a linear extension of f delta then f is a linear extension of f delta linear extension of f delta okay which is also dominated by p which is also dominated by p which is also dominated which is also dominated by p okay this contradicts the maximality of f delta on this contradict this contradicts the maximality of f delta maximality of f delta on on okay therefore therefore x equal to f delta therefore x equal to f delta df delta x equal to df delta okay so so we do this proof of Han Banach theorem that means what we find we find f delta less than equal to px and f delta equal to fx for all x belongs to y okay so what we do here we do just one extension f delta we find but how how we prove this we first construct a set and then one relation and this relation be a partial order relation then this set and relation be a poset and every poset we first claim that this poset has an upper bound and we see about that and then we turn every by John's lemma this poset has a maximal element because this has an upper bound so this has a maximal element then we see about that maximal element satisfied all the properties of this hahn theorem and now claim that x equal to d of f domain of f delta x equal to domain of f delta if x not equal to domain of f delta then domain of f delta subset of x and obviously here we construct something and then we find one set this have supremum one set this have infimum and obviously we denote it supremum equal to a infimum equal to b then a less than equal to b and obviously there exists a c belongs to r a less than equal to c less than equal to b okay and in the further way we prove this Han Banach theorem and con con obviously getting a functional f and obviously we get this f is maximal but this one is not possible so so we turn x equal to d of f delta today we stop here